lot of kids in the neighborhood, and so I, I think some of my best memories are just some of the time we would spend with the neighborhood kids. The Blancos lived uh, down the street and then down this huge hill, and they had six kids, and we had six kids, and then there were a couple houses with, you know, one or two kids sort of right around us, and, you know, we would do everything from slip and slide in the summer to war games or, you know, whatever people dreamed of. Like, we would spend full days outside in the summers, and so I, th I, th I think, um, you know, those long, hot days, but they were just great days where you would, you know, be outside with your friends and running to each other's houses, wherever had the best food, you knew which house had the best snack food, and um, so it was, it was a great neighborhood to grow up in, and um, so those are some of my earliest memories, was just that little neighborhood gang that we had, um, and then, then uh, probably the second earliest would be, uh, you know, there's a Cajun Field football stadium right around the corner, and Dad played football there, and we would go to the games growing up, and on the sides of the field, um, or the outside, there's these really steep hills, and one thing we would love to do is to go to the top and then roll down on our side, like when you're, you're little kids, and so it's not like as painful as it would be right now, but... Um, but, you know, that was just like the most fun thing ever. You go to these football games and you could just roll down as many times as you wanted. And um, we do that with the Blancos. And so I, I, I think, you know, going to UL football games and um, uh, cheering on the Cajuns and, you know, having a good time at those, those, those games are some great early memories, too. No, I guess I felt like um, my older sister, Kim, was... Uh, this is weird to say, but it was always sort of the the, the, the uh, more outgoing one. You know, she was um, in the theater and beautiful and could sing. And so I guess in, in some ways I felt like the reader, sort of the quiet one, um, the one who, you know, would uh, be okay sort of being in, in the backdrop. Um, but I don't know if that's... Objects around. Right, right. Just sort of <laughs> being behind the scenes. But... That, that that may be my perception or memory, but not reality. But, um, you know, I, I think that um, I had a happy childhood and liked adventure. And uh, so, yeah, I, I think, but I, I mean, you know, in terms of the specific role, I'd have to sort of sort of think, think through the different types of roles. But it, there's, okay. you know, not one that strikes me as one easy categorization. But I, I think, uh, you know, one who was quieter and like sort of quiet activities but you know also like to do some fun things like roll down big hills and things right. like that right. yeah uh, again, uh, did you have a favorite one was that um for christmas we would get up and we were we never opened presents before christmas i know that some family traditions if you open some presents before christmas eve or for someone christmas eve for someone christmas morning we were always like christmas morning sort of uh, present opening family and so we would um, uh, wake up and our house had a you know long room but sort of was divided by doors and so on the other side of the front you know sort of folding doors was the tree and presents and we could not open those doors at all because you'd see things that were you know unwrapped or the bicycle. Right, the bicycle. Or I remember one year I got a beautiful bird cage because I love birds, and Mom found this beautiful black bird cage. In fact, I think Kim has it. And um, and so there were some things that were unwrapped. Although we would wrap all our presents, and people would sort of Santa at their house would bring presents unwrapped. Ours was always Christmas morning. Most things that were wrappable were wrapped. And um, but then the stockings were on the other side of the room, and so we could get up and open our stockings, but we couldn't go in that room. And then. Mom and Dad, you know, were tired, and so we would, uh, you know, usually have to negotiate like a wake up time, like six or six thirty or seven, and um, and then we'd usually have uh, cinnamon, those orange cinnamon rolls, those cinnamon rolls with the orange icing. See back to the orange. I'm, I'm <laughs> sure I helped pick those out early on, but we would have those on Christmas morning, uh, I, and just have really great memories of that. And and I wanted a lot of kids. I always thought I would have a huge house full of kids, and it's not till you grow up and start realizing, you know, the reality of you know, the cost of children and the reality of, you know, raising so many kids that you have a newfound respect for parents who can have that many yeah. kids, but it was fun, you know, I've had other friends say that our house was the most fun house to come to in the neighborhood, we, you know, one of the Blancos had six kids too, but I guess our little next door neighbors and things like that, but it, it was fun, there was always people to play with, there was always sort of fights over snack food or, um, but, it, you know, there, there were always people around and, uh, 
you know, it, 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 it was great. I, I think that we um, spent a lot of time together as a family, and so I, I think whereas other people who are maybe, you know, are only children or have one or two siblings have, you know, great friendships, but I, right. I, I think because we were together so much, we, uh, you know, spent a lot of time together and um, shared rooms and, you know, have great stories about scaring each other or, you know, road trips. And so it, it was overall really, really good experience. I mean, we had a great time and, um, you know, I don't know how my parents did it, both, you know, working full time and all of us kids, but, um, but you know, you kind of felt like you had this tribe and, and then these people that were, you know, with you and always with you. And so, um, so I, I think it's great. I mean, if, you know, I think it was a really good experience. <laughs> I do remember um, I was I was scared a lot to do things that I mean I had broke some rules, but I guess you know Such I, as? well I remember one time, gosh, I don't, mom and dad had gone I think to Biloxi, and this is when you had call waiting on the phone, and you know where someone called, and you, and you still have it, but I guess it was a newer feature, so there were some flaws with it. And mom and dad had gone out of town, and I was probably in high school or college. I'll say I was in college and uh, left us at the house, and I think Vanessa and I were there, and so we'd had some friends over, and um, we, and I think I was on the phone with Vanessa talking, I think it was that we weren't supposed to be at the house, and now that I'm thinking about it, we weren't supposed to be at the house, but we were there, and so mom called and would say, well, why are y'all there, and you're not supposed to be there, and so we were saying, oh, we just, I don't know, came to pick something up, or I don't, you know, and then there was a click came in, and I clicked in, clicked over and I think it was Vanessa or Kim I don't remember which and um, and so we I said you know mom's on the other line but hold on so I clicked over and talked to mom and then went to click back over to Vanessa and said it's fine mom doesn't have a clue she I know anything that's going on <laughs> and it was still mom on the phone and so mom was like what do you mean I don't have a clue about what's going on and so it was um, so that was one I think uh, there's a Kimberly got her license before I did, and so she was the driver, and um, we had this big van. I can't believe it was even legal, but there were vans with seats that didn't even buckle. Like, they weren't even secure. Like, you'd take a corner, and you had to sort of, like, secure yourself, or the whole seat would roll forward. And so, um, you know, we had fun times, like, riding around in the van. We'd pack a bunch of people in. Kim was older because she started school in Texas, so right. she got her license before most other people. So to have a van and be a young driver, you know, was very, you very much were uh, an in-demand kind of friend. And so, um, so we had some good times riding around Lafayette with a bunch of other friends and creating trouble. So, uh, and I mean, and it was also fun. My dad was working on, he was on faculty in criminal, the criminal justice department. So he was there. So that was a lot of fun. So I could roll over there for lunch and meet him for mass at noon. And then he would buy you lunch, you know, and so we, we, meet for lunch a lot so that was a lot of fun having him right there well not each day but if if Every i wanted lunch, lunch if i wanted lunch for sure i'd meet him for mass <laughs> he was always going to mass every day at noon and so if i wanted to see him or wanted to have lunch you know uh, with with him not just he didn't make you go to mass to have lunch but you knew you could find him there and then, and then he was going to go to lunch after so anyway